Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. In this tip, I'm talking about ball position, foot position, and width of stance. All right, these are very important setup elements. Now, this isn't necessarily even for beginning golfers, all right, because <laughs> when I see people come out here to the range for a lesson, a lot of people are not doing this stuff right. The problem with that is you haven't even hit the ball yet. You haven't even taken your swing yet. So why would you not spend the time checking your different setup elements? So, you know, if you can check them, then you know, you know, maybe you, you know, your stance width wasn't the cause of a bad shot, right? So it's like a checklist of things. Here's like three of them right here. If you check these things, you know for a fact these are not wrong before you start doing your swing. All right, so three very important setup elements in this tip. If you like it, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Also, click on the button to subscribe to the channel. Click on the little bell so you're notified when I post new tips. And definitely tell your friends about my tips. You know, there's a lot of beginners out there too, so they're gonna need help, as well as, you know, all your friends and that sort of thing. So if we can get them watching these tips, we can help them too. In today's tip, I'm teaching you a way to practice your width of stance, ball position, and foot position. These are three very simple things that so many people get wrong. Okay, and you, if you make a mistake here, that can affect your shots. So we wanna do this very precisely, and this is a very easy way you can practice it. All right, so doesn't matter what club you have, all we're gonna do, we're gonna take one ball and we are going to put that ball right between our two feet. We're gonna have our feet physically touching one another. Okay, so I don't have the ball out here. I've got the ball right touching my feet. So the ball is at zero right now. It's right between my feet. Now, your widest stance, that is with driver. The ball position for driver is off the inside of your heel. So what are we gonna do? Well, it's real simple. The only thing I'm gonna do is turn out my foot, my lead foot, and then I'm gonna do my widest stance. And you can see that ball is perfectly off the inside of my heel. And it is because I started with my feet physically touching, and that ball is exactly between my feet. So I turn out my forward foot, I do my widest stance. That is only for driver. All right, so now if we have three wood, hybrids, all the way down to a seven iron, we want to play that one ball inside our forward foot. So with the ball at zero right here, I take my lead foot, I move it one ball forward, I turn out my toe, and then I do my medium stance. You can see this stance is a little narrower than the driver stance. So that ball should be one ball inside my forward heel. That is for three wood hybrids all the way down to a seven iron. All right. Now, as I practice eight iron through lob wedge, my feet are physically touching again. I take my lead leg. I move it two balls forward, I turn out my toe, then I do my narrow stance, which is a ball narrower than my medium stance. And you can see right here, I'm two balls inside my heel, I've got my narrow stance. That is for eight iron, nine iron, pitching wedge, sand wedge, or gap wedge, sand wedge, lob wedge, if you have a lob wedge, and I'm talking on a full swing. So we have three different widths of stance, three different ball positions, and our foot position stays the same for all clubs. That is, the back foot is turned out about five degrees, the forward foot is turned out about 25 to 30 degrees. All right, so this is a very simple way to practice it. If you're, try if you're wondering how do I get the proper width of stance, it's real simple. Your narrowest stance, which I'm doing right now, 
would have you just in a very casual stance. If you had arms that went all the way down to the ground, you'd be touching the outside of your feet. That is your narrowest stance. Your medium stance is one ball wider, three wood to seven iron. Your driver is one more ball wider than that. So if you know the narrowest stance, you should know the other two. All right, so this is just a real simple way to practice it. So you just stand here like this. Feet are always touching. Ball right up against your feet. See, it's right in the middle of my feet. What club do I, am I hitting? Driver. Oh, I turn out my foot for driver. I do my widest stance. See, it's perfect. Seven iron. Oh, I take my forward foot. I turn it out, or move it one ball, turn out my toe. I do my medium stance. Now it's one ball inside my heel. Sand wedge. Oh, I take the forward foot. I turn it, or turn it out and move it two balls. And then I do my narrow stance. All right, so just a real quick way to practice your width of stance and ball position. I see so many people doing this wrong. This deserves its own tip. <laughs> so this is just a real simple way to practice it so that you're never gonna get it wrong when you're out here at the range or when you're playing golf. Okay, you make a mistake here in this setup routine that might be causing you to hit bad shots. So we want to do a perfect setup before every shot so that we narrow down the possible causes of a bad shot. Couldn't have been our ball position. Couldn't have been our foot position. Couldn't have been our width of stance. Oh, it must be something else that caused me to hit a bad shot. So you see, we're narrowing down the possible causes of a bad shot. So just give that a little try. You know, you can do that at home right now. You know, you're just standing there. Go grab one golf ball. Don't even need a club if you don't have a club. I just happen to have one. Feet together, put the ball in position, then do those three different widths of stance, three different ball positions, plus the foot position, and then you'll have it mastered in no time. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my Body Swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.